Welcome, this is Byron. I'm a traffic engineer based in the US. And today I'm gonna to talk about some of the books and manuals I have on my bookshelf as a traffic engineer. So I'm now back in the office some days. I'm not always working from the home, which is kind of refreshing. Uh, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do this uh, vlog. So let's look at them. So I'm gonna do them starting from left to right. The first three we have here is the Trip Generation Manual by ITE. This is a um, very common book known by many traffic engineers. It helps us estimate the amount of traffic that will come from a particular land use or development. And um, so there's many different land uses like office, warehouse, and um, with that, you can kind of get the trip generation rate and how much trips it can generate. These next three binders is the Highway Capacity Manual by the Transportation Research Board. Uh, this is a pretty well-known um, civil engineering, traffic engineering set of uh, references. Uh, it's for pretty much anything that has to do with capacity calculations, so level of service, and um, for all different kinds of um, intersections, um, segments, road segments, and other things. I actually don't use this as much anymore because we actually have computer programs to calculate all the formulas in, in these books. So um, just kind of here for reference. And if you take the PE or TE exam here in California, you're probably going to need this. This next book is um, a CEQA reference. And CEQA is a California Environmental Quality Act. Um, so those are the environmental laws and environmental impact laws that we have to follow. Um, this is mainly just the law itself. So if you're not in California, this probably isn't any use to you. But since uh, transportation is part of the environmental process, uh, this is an important book to have, or important thing to know at least. Um, yeah, so let's see, go on. Um, okay, so we now we have the vehicle code. So this is the state of California vehicle code. These are the um, laws pertaining to all vehicles, uh, traffic laws they have to follow. Um, a lot more than that, though. Um, it's pretty thick, and uh, it's just a nice reference to have. It's 2021, so this is getting kind of outdated, um, so I should probably order another one. But it's a very useful reference. Uh, as a traffic engineer, you should have the laws, uh, the traffic laws uh, handy. So this next book is a policy on geometric design of highways and streets by Ashto. And this is the green book in transportation engineering. If anyone says the green book, they're referring to this one. It's a comprehensive book on the geometric design of roads and streets and highways. So anything including the, the curve radius, uh, horizontal, vertical curves, um, sight distance, it's pretty comprehensive, but if you're designing um, a road or a highway, you're going to need this. Uh, so also, if you're going to take the civil engineering exam, a PE exam, or traffic uh, engineering exam, um, it's a very well-known book. So let's get this over. This next book is the Traffic Engineering Handbook by ITE. This is a less common book, but it's a pretty good summary of uh, all the things uh, traffic that traffic engineers um, can do um, and about traffic engineering. Uh, it's helpful and I recommend it, if, especially if you're gonna get into traffic engineering specifically. So um, I think it, was a, it came out um, maybe five, five or so years ago. So yeah, it's a helpful book. All right, the last two here is the California Manual on Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Uh, for most U.S. states we use manual on uniform traffic control devices. California, we have our own. And these um, two massive binders, it's actually one massive binder, but I needed two, two binders, two binders for it. Um, this is all for signs, markings, uh, traffic signal warrants. Really, we call this the Bible of traffic engineering and 
really it is um, because there's just so much um, that we uh, that we rely on for these manuals. So um, I, I refer to these manuals a lot. And um, as you can tell, I have a ton of tabs here. A lot of these are from uh, when I was taking the T exam. But yeah, anyway, you need to have this if you're gonna go into transportation or traffic engineering. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if not, at least you found it entertaining or you got something out of it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.